Hi Justin, Maria here. So I've been wanting to make a video about cephalopods, but I live in a landlocked country. So I was wondering if you could get me some footage of these fascinating animals. I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Hey Maria, thank you so much for hitting me up. You want to see some cephalopods? You've come to the right place. So I'm going to put a little compilation of just some of the cephalopods I've seen in the last month here in Philippines and then I'm going to send you the footage so you can make an awesome uh, educational marine biology video about them. Thank you Justin so much for the incredible footage you sent me. Everyone go check out Justin's channel Critter Hunter. He has some amazing footage over there and he also has a video about how he collected the footage that we will see now or about the moment in which he collected everything that you will see today. And yes, there is a reason for why I'm wearing a swimsuit while filming this video. Hey, I'm an octopus. If you can figure out which octopus I am, let me know down in the comments below. By the end of this video, you will know which octopus I'm dressed as. And by the way, today, green screen. Hello. Cool. Okay. Well, cephalopods are some of my favorite animals, and that's because they're awesome. That's it, and they have been the inspiration for numerous characters, including aliens, monsters, and otherwise, in entertainment all around the world for a very long time. But despite this, we have only scratched the surface of how much we know about these animals. And you know me, mystery plus awesomeness equals... Maria Likey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, let's just dive right in into the fascinating world of the cephalopods. Cephalopods are mollusks belonging to the class Cephalopoda, and they are some of the most ancient creatures on Earth. They appeared in the fossil record around 485 million years ago, which is double old as the oldest dinosaur fossils, just for reference. There are around 800 living species of cephalopods, and they all belong to four different groups. The squids, cuttlefish, octopuses, and nautilus. You don't need to read much about cephalopods to realize how unique in the animal kingdom they are. Not only due to their physical as aspect, but also because of how they communicate, hunt, and also because of their cognitive abilities, which we really sometimes cannot even understand. For example, octopuses have what can be considered very small brains in each of their arms, besides the main brain in their head which means technically they have nine brains. Like I cannot even manage one, they have nine. <laughs> this means that each individual arm can work separately from each other, but at the same time, they are one. <sighs> at least doing this probably would be easier. Huh? But let's talk about individuals, shall we? This guy behind me is the Wonderpus octopus. Do, you, do I need to say more? Wonderpus octopus. Do I need to say why they are awesome? Let's continue. Next one. Let me present to you this master of hypnosis. This is the flamboyant cuttlefish. Yes, that's really its name. We must thank all the cephalopod scientists for blessing us with these fantastic names. And I mean, why not? I would say it is rather flamboyant. So, good name. One of the main reasons for this incredible display of color changes is to hypnotize prey right before catching them. Reminds me of this guy. But it might also be used in mating and to warn predators. In nature, most of the times, the more colorful an animal is, the more venomous it is. It, it might not always be the case, but it is in a lot of cases. And predators know that. And in this case, it's not bluff. This cuttlefish is one of the most venomous known cephalopods. They undergo these incredible changes because of structures contained within their skin called chromatophores. They are small structures filled with ink that can expand and contract, allowing Mr. Flamboyant here to exhibit this myriad of colors. Many cephalopods have chromatophores, but none is as flamboyant as the flamboyant cuttlefish. I have no idea what he's doing here. I like to think that he was challenging Justin into a push-up competition. It could also be that he sees Justin as a threat and is displaying his colors, warning Justin, telling him, hey dude, you should go away. But I actually don't know. If some of you actually know what this is, let me know. While the flamboyant seems determined and showing off, there are other cephalopods that are a little bit more shy. This is a bobtail squid. 
Bobtail squids are a group of cephalopods that, even though called squids, are closer related to cuttlefish than other squids. But, well, science. While the flamboyant cuttlefish is usually active during the day, these little squids are more active during the night and spend the day hiding burrowed in the sand. Just like you see here. Just look at this little guy, using his little arms to hide himself. Look how cool he is. You can't see me now. And yes, I said arms, not tentacles. Tentacles only have suction cups at the tips, while arms usually have suction cups along its entire length. Except in the case of the Nautilus that can have up to 90 arms, yet without any suction cups. Cuttlefish and squids have eight arms and two tentacles, while the octopus has eight arms and zero tentacles. Speaking of which... <laughs> Did you guess which octopus I am? I'm a blue ring octopus. These small octopuses can be found in the Indo-Pacific region, and just like their cousins, the flamboyants, these marvelous colors are not only for display, and they are not only bluff. The blue ring octopus is considered one of the most venomous animals in the ocean and on Earth. The venom is produced in the posterior salivary glands, and it is released into any animal that the octopus bites, be it prey, or predators, or just anyone. Their venom is fatal to humans, so please don't touch. All right, anyways, if by this point you're still not convinced that cephalopods are some of the most awesome animals out there, I didn't want to use this or do this, but prepare for some cuteness attack in three, two, one. Aww. If this didn't do it, I'm sorry you're a lost cause and there's nothing I can do for you. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I was trying something different today. I want to thank Critter Hunter and or Justin from Critter Hunter so much for this amazing footage. It, it, this video would not be possible or not be so amazing without it. Thank you so much. Go check his channel out. And thank you all for being here. Thank you all my Patreons for supporting this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.